Hi, I'm Ian Cohen and welcome to another look behind the scenes here at Melbourne Park for AO 2013. And we're currently in the Racket Stringers room and this place is a hive of activity throughout the tournament. Thousands and thousands of rackets come through here to be restrung. Let's find out how it all happens. Yeah, we have a front desk staff that takes in all the rackets and takes all the information, puts them in a bag, they cut out the strings for us, and then we get the rackets, we, uh, we string them, uh, stencil them and bag them and hand them back to them and they, they file them for us. One of the biggest differences between strings is going to be the material and uh, the dye that's added to the material, and that's where you're seeing the differences in color. And of course, part of it is fashion, you know, especially on the WT to where they prefer different colors as well. So, <laughs> uh, but for the most part, it's going to be uh, with performance in mind. Like this string, for instance, uh, it uses uh, aluminum for it as a part of the construction, so that's why it has a silver color. I'm going to be putting some strings in. I'm going to be putting two separate strings in it, and one poly in the main, and a natural gut in the cross. What's the difference in the string? They want this string for some power, and the other string for some control. Now some of the players will be sensitive uh, to the tension, so that's our job to make sure that everything comes out the same, whether we're stringing the racket on Monday or on Wednesday, 7 o'clock in the morning, 9 o'clock in the evening. So we just make sure we put out a consistent product. And do they sometimes demand slightly different tensions depending on what conditions or which court they're on? I mean, is there different demands? Yeah, absolutely, especially if the player starts playing a match, uh, say, in the afternoon, and as the match wears on, it's a long five set match, the temperature drops, then of course they'll request a different tension. But also they want to be prepared for the match, so they'll come out with various tensions. Sometimes there's a difference of a pound or two, or half a kilo to a kilo. It started about 20 years ago when I was a kid playing at uh, the club that I played at. I always watched the stringer and was fascinated, so that's how I started. Yesterday we did over 300 rackets, so we probably all did about 25 each. So what happens if someone knows in the middle of a five-setter on, uh, on Rod Laver Arena, hey, here around we go, Rod Laver Arena, and they bring it in, how long does that take? They want it back on the court in 17 minutes, from the minute it hits the door to back on the court. You know, it's kind of, it's kind of cool knowing that they're, they're competing and winning with the racket you're strong. So there you go, you certainly need nimble fingers if you're going to be a racket stringer, but this place really is the heartbeat because every player needs these guys in here if they're going to try and lift one of those trophies come the last weekend here at Melbourne Park. And if you're lucky enough to be in Melbourne Park, pop on down to Court 6 because this window is just the other side and you too can have a look at this massive activity that is the racket stringers room.